Hi, I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre of Johnson Wales University, and today we're going to make a very typical Italian dish called Paglia e Fieno, which means straw and hay. And you get that name from the two types of pastas, a spinach pasta and a egg pasta, so it has the hay and the straw feel to it. And if you don't have peas in your garden and you're like, oh, well, now I can't make that recipe, no, use frozen peas, that's fine. Asparagus, go buy them. I mean, this is try or do whatever you have. Use the vegetables that are coming up and this dish will still be delicious. So we're going to start off by starting to heat up a little butter. And we're going to crisp up the prosciutto. So prosciutto is a dry cured pork product. You can use ham if you want. You can make it vegetarian by leaving this out. But it's a nice contrast. There's, it's very salty, so it has a nice flavor. Gonna also add a little garlic. Now I like to add the garlic a little later, usually, because that way I don't want it to uh, get too brown, but nice infusion of flavor. So the garlic's starting to brown, crisp up. I cut it thinly so it's gonna do quickly. What I did was I blanched the asparagus and the peas to give it that nice crisp, so I blanched and then shocked it. And shocking means that you want to put it in some ice cold water and it really keeps that nice green color. So you want a nice visual, obviously, on any plate. So I'm gonna add these. Oh, you always season it as you go, a little fresh black pepper, some salt, very little salt. You want to adjust later. Remember, the prosciutto is very salty, but what's going to tone it down a little is the addition of cream. So we're going to add the cream. We're going to turn it down to a low. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome, chef. And let it cook. In the meanwhile, I have some water boiling. I already cooked off this pasta, and now I'm just reheating it. I tossed it in a little olive oil so they wouldn't stick together, but now I'm just gonna give them a quick, a quick reheat. Here you go, thank you. Thank you, sir. And what I have from the first time is I have a little pasta water. I always save a little pasta water for any pasta dish that I do because it, first of all, it already has some of the starches of the pasta. It helps thicken a sauce, but also if you want, when, if this got too thick, you could already, uh, you could thin it out a little because it is liquid, but it helps in the, helps in the process. Calvin, do you mind taking this no, out? No, sure. That'd be great. So we're gonna have this drained. Calvin's gonna help me out, thank you. A little fresh parm. We'll add a little at the end. So here we have the pasta. Mixed together. So we're going to mix it around, get the sauce all around. I see that it's thickening a little, so I'm going to add that pasta water and help it. And I can turn off the heat. Everything's hot now. The pasta was already hot. The sauce was hot. Don't want to overcook. I'm a big black pepper fan, so I always like to add a little more black pepper, but you do it the way you like it. It's your dish. So what he's going to show you is now, you've worked at Italian restaurants for a I long time, worked, right? Yeah. So that's why long I have time. the pros doing it, right? So you like to make, give it a nice twirl, put it in the center of the plate. It's a nice visual. Remember, you eat with your eyes first. So that's what's important. Nice visual, give it a twirl. Shows your guests, you know what? I gave it a little extra second instead of plopping it on a plate and serving it. You know, does it taste any different? No, it tastes the same. But is it visually pleasing? Yes, and people appreciate it, they love it, they always remember it, and it's those little things that when they say, wow, I don't know why that was so good, and that's because, it, because we gave it a little twirl, right? You can do this table side if you want to give it that, or you can pass this around to people and let them add their own. They love, who doesn't love playing with this? And serve while hot. Palia y fieno with those fresh spring peas and fresh asparagus tips. All our recipes are available on our website. I'm Chef Delatore of Johnson Wells University. Let's dig in.